Warning, this show contains lots of vulgarity, questionable content, and the angry jackalope might just be a crazy motherfucker. You've been warned. What's up, YouTube? Angry Jackal up here, Rob Ricks. And, uh, I, you know, I guess I've been somewhat uh, delinquent. I'm a fucking degenerate. I should be uh, throwing some more story times in because I know there's uh, a lot of you guys that actually really dig the story times. And I, uh, I, I just did one today that came out today about the ghost. So I figured, fuck it, there's been a lot of shit going on recently I'm fucking I'll tell you guys some some more stories here so uh, let's see which one to start with hmm okay I got I got a story for you guys about fucking the human condition right this uh the thing that kind of keeps me up late at night so we got a a, a store out here called Winco I don't know if you guys have them in your areas or not um i had never come across a winco until we moved out here to utah but they had a brand new winco opening up and they had they had uh done a quite a quite a bit of mailing to let folks know that the store was opening up and they had some coupons and shit in there that said on opening day if you go in you get a free fucking thing of hot dogs you get a fuck it's like pork and beans you get like one can you know get you get a bunch of these little little bullshit items for free inconsequential shit really but if you ever want to see motherfuckers lose their shit tell them there's some shit for free uh limited quantities on hand or whatever watch how motherfuckers act because this story will illustrate this point for you perfectly so wife's interested she wants to go out and i'm like i don't i don't want to go to that shit you know it's the same reason i don't do fucking black friday and all this other bullshit because it just brings out the worst in motherfuckers so anyway i give in because she says she wants to go so happy wife happy life right so we go and um we get we get to the fucking winco and the first thing i see is the parking lot is just jam fucking packed so i drop my wife at the front and I tell her I'm going to go find fucking parking. So I go looking around for fucking parking. And I find some fucking parking. And I walk my happy ass all the way from the parking lot into the fucking Winco. And there is no fucking carts. Okay? None. Anywhere. They're all gone. Got fucking... I mean, this fucking place is packed. That's the other thing I don't like. I am not a big fan of fucking crowds. I don't like big crowds because I'm paranoid, and I like to keep an eye on what's going on, you know, and if there's so many fucking people, there's, it's impossible to see everything going on, so anyway, I go out in the fucking parking lot, and I figure, I got some strategy, I will basically follow motherfuckers to their car, wait for them to be done with their carts, grab a cart, and go on, okay, so I'm sitting there, and uh, this couple with their kids, you know, they're unloading the stuff in a, their minivan or whatever. And I decide, fuck, I'll help them out. So I'm, I'm loading up the, the stuff with them. And I have my hand on a cart. All of a sudden, this fucking lady runs up, snatches the cart out of my fucking hands. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And she's like, fuck you. And she just takes off with the fucking cart. And I'm like whoa are you kidding me the, the couple's looking like what the fuck and i'm like yeah i know right it's amazing what people do for some free fucking hot dogs so uh i wait again i find another person dude putting the shit in this time i look around any crazed fucking soccer mom's gonna come and try to snatch this cart from me so by this time 25 minutes has passed since i put my wife inside the store and i went out to go fucking fetch a cart I get a cart, I go in, I tell her the story, what happened. She's like, oh my God, that's crazy. I'm like, yeah, no shit. And I'm thinking to myself, I fucking told your ass this is what's going to fucking happen here. So anyway, we're walking around and you, and you can't, you can't do anything. It's so many fucking people in there. You can't navigate through. There's just like, 
Okay, you got two. You got an aisle that could have two two people, right? Cart, cart. Well, there's like fucking three or four people. All the it's a fucking wreck. It is a complete fucking wreck. So we go through. We grab shit. And uh, as we're checking out, I tell my wife, "This is why one of the primary reasons I prepare, because there was no disaster, there was no emergency, this was nothing more than human greed." And look at, look at how many people are. I mean, I I saw literally people snatching shit out of other people's carts, and I was like, "What the fuck?" You know, I saw people going to, damn near going to blows. I swear if if it, you know, if there wasn't, if they weren't so, such pussies out here that were afraid to get in a fight, I'm sure there would have been more fights breaking out. I, I guarantee it. But you just had some verbal altercations and that's mine. No, it's mine. I, you got five. I only got one. Yeah, it was like stupid shit. It's dumb. So I told my wife, I said, imagine if there was an actual disaster. What would happen then? You know, it's like people are always charitable when they have excess, right? So if you're sitting in a house and you've got, you know, you got a bunch of food and, um, you know, your neighbor, for whatever reason, got laid off, you know, you'll feel charitable, walk across the street and give them a little bit of food, help them out. Change those dynamics. Suddenly there's no excess food. There's no extra food. You know, the shit you got in your house, that's it. There, there's no news on when whatever disaster that you're dealing with is going to subside. And now you're like, fuck your neighbor. You got your own kids and your own family to contend with and deal with, right? So, you know, I, get, I, catch, I catch shit from some of, some of my non-prepper friends that are like, they use words like hoarder. And I'm laughing at myself like, motherfucker, I've been warning you guys forever and a day about just normal shit that could go down, you know, but that Winco experience, man, that, that just solidified the shit, the human nature in my fucking head, you know, I was like, anytime I question whether or not I'm doing the right thing in regards to prepping and, and things of that nature, I'm like, fuck, yeah, I'm definitely doing the right shit because this right here is some bullshit, and in my preps, you know, I don't just prep for just me and my family because I know I got a shit ton of knucklehead fucking friends that no matter what I fucking tell these guys, they don't prep. So if shit goes bad, where the fuck are they coming straight to? Right fucking here. Drives me crazy, I tell you. But anyway, that's it for that. I get. I, I hope that. I hope that was a good enough little story time for you. I hope. I hope that one's pretty good. I got. A, I got a few more. I'm gonna do. I'm going to sprinkle them throughout the week on, on some of the other, other episodes, but I wanted to get some story times in here for you guys. All right? If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell all your friends. Share this far and wide. Uh, let's see if we get some other people interested in uh, story time. All right, guys, that's it. Oh, you know what? Somebody just told me that this is like this. Uh, so maybe I'll just start doing this shit. Power. That Black Panther shit? You know, No, that's not going to work. Man, I'll do my jackalope shit. Do, do, the, do the jackalope shit. You know? I don't know what you guys think. Fuck, whatever. Anyway.